it's Shaq's Tron back with another video review and this time we have Age of Extinction Grimlock, he's a Voyager class and this is one of two Voyager classes in wave one of Age of Extinction I'm sure there's going to be more including um, like Sludge the Apatosaurus slash Brontosaurus which is going to come out in the future but anyways let's take a look at the box here we have nice T-Rex or a Carnotaur, Dinosaur, whatever you prefer. I think he's a T-Rex because he's a T-Rex in G1. So Grimlock will always be a T-Rex to me, even if he is a Carnotaur. But anyways, here's the Age of Extinction logo. Simplified Transformer logo, which I'm, I'm still not used to yet. But I've already done five reviews so far, so it'll eventually grow on me. Anyways, here's the Autobot logo. And on the back, we have his Wave Buddy, which is Optimus Prime. And then, right here, his Robot Mode. And his T-Rex Mode. And his Bio. You guys can read it. I will not read it to you. 18 Steps. And here's some other stuff. Legal crap. Transformers.com. Here's the other side. He's number two. And then movie four. Anyways, let's get this guy out of the box and see how cool he is. So here we have Age of Extinction Voyager Classic Grimlock out of the package and in his Tyrannosaurus mode, or T Rex mode, if you will. It's pretty awesome. I'm really, really enjoying these Dinobot figures. I do like uh, Grimlock with these horn ear things down, though. Makes him look like a more streamlined T-Rex instead of having bunny ears. But, can't really complain about that. We got a nice movie Grimlock figure, which is pretty tall. Here he is with the uh, crosshairs. Give you an idea, but... He's long, like really long, but in robot mode, Grimlock is almost twice the size of Crosshairs, so I'm going to be winging this transformation, because I transformed him into T-Rex mode, and I'm going to do this, this, I'm just going to wing it, hope you guys don't mind. So, let's get transforming. I split apart the tail, like so. And his T-Rex legs become the forearms. And you bring this down, spin his head around, come back to the shoulders right here. Put his T-Rex skull on the top, and then bring them around. I want to angle, angle the camera up so you guys can see. And bring these sections back, like so, is what I'm assuming. And bring the claws in, the little hands. Also to bring the T-Rex feet, like so. And then spin this around, close up the T-Rex claw, should be out like that. Do the same thing on their side. See this is really simple. Bring this up like so. T-Rex shoulder pads like so, and I guess this is about right, it's looking that way, but that's pretty good winged transformation of Voyager Classic Grimlock, I would say, it's kind of big, trying to get him on camera, 
But anyways, here we have Voyager Class Grimlock in his T-Rex mode. It was very nice. I mean, not uh, T-Rex mode. What am I saying? This is his robot mode. Sorry, guys. Let's look at him real quick. He has some really nice silver paint right here. That and his uh, visor. And I really, really like the Grimlock head sculpt. You can see the teeth behind his visor. And it looks like he has a nose. And then his uh, T-Rex skull splits in half. So it's like silver. Then he has like dark green. Like metallic eyes. My camera's not really picking up that well. Sorry, but if you guys have to have the figure in hand or seen pictures online, I'll give you a good idea for it. And he also has an Autobot symbol right here. I guess I didn't show you guys that. But for posability, for his hip, you can go out like that. Not that far, but the kibble starts to get bent and moved out of the place. But anyways, for his knee, bend like so. And his foot moves, but it's really for transformation purposes. And then at the shoulder, I'm going to hold this, hold the torso piece so he doesn't lift up. And goes in, I mean out and in. That bends at the elbow, like so. It doesn't move out and in unless you spin the arm, like so. Then it'll move out and in, but yeah, spin it this way for robot mode. That's mainly the articulation in T Rex mode. And on the back, he doesn't have that much kibble, but he has a lot of hollow uh, pieces. Like his legs are hollow, as you can see. And then there's a little hollow section back here. And then there are hollow uh, T Rex claws or feet or whatever. But all in all, it's still a really good Dinobot figure. I have the Leader Class figure, but I haven't reviewed it yet. I will be reviewing it here shortly. But he does come with a weapon, which is this gigantic mace. You can uh, hold it. You just take this little peg, put it in his hand. It's very tight, though. And I'll push it in all the way. You can get some really good poses out of this guy, though, which I'm liking. Get a good pose for you guys. There you go. It's a pretty good pose. You can also put it in his other hand too. That does pop off. I'll show you guys real quick if I can get this off. Come on. I won't break it. But anyways, this only goes on a certain way. If you notice. Right here, it's flat on the bottom. I'm trying to show that to you guys. It's flat on the bottom, and then same thing on the mace. It only goes in one way, so like that. You push it in, and there you go. But for size comparisons, real quick. Here we have him, oops, have him next to Crosshairs, which I'm saying Grimlock is pretty much twice the size as Crosshairs. But anyways guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to pick up this figure, because I'm sure customizers will pick this up, because they're, they're probably going to be uh, repainting him to look like the G1 colors. I myself am going to be customizing all the Dinobots in their G1 colors. So, 
I'll get back to you guys on that. But anyways, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for, for uh, more videos. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And if you guys have any suggestions on what I could do better in my videos, because I I know I don't get to figure on camera a lot, or as best as I should be, and also don't show like minor details on the figure, but. I'm, I'm going to try to get better. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Later.